they definitely mixed up the results a bit. Um, the, the last few days have been really hard, and um, you know everyone's been fairly set in their results. I mean, Dave's been winning a lot, and I've been seconds or firsts, and, and Josh has been sort of third. But today's light air really reshuffled the pack, um, and, and Josh got a lot of good results, and I managed to stay relatively consistent. small but um, the the level is, is pretty high I mean Josh is is, is, is good he's a former world champion and, and Dave's obviously very fast um, so there's, there's a, enough really quick bites to make it challenging yeah the series has been really tough um, a lot of the guys have, have broken down either boats or, or people or bodies so it's been just a long sort of stretch to, to keep it together. We've got one day to go now. There's no doubt that I go fast, um, but I think I sort of minimise risk as well, which means I don't win all the time. But um, tend to be quite consistent. So against you know the guys that on the lake last year we had a lot of Olympians and really good sailors. Um, just you had to be consistent to keep your scores low. Um, the year before it was in Mornington where there were massive waves and that was really tough. The year before that was a massive fleet at Belmont. So there's been um, you know lots of different conditions and different competitors we've just got to sort of stay same, keep doing the same thing, minimise risk, go fast, get yeah, sail well. Yeah, I've been in this, you know, well, been close to this position for a number of years. Uh, I've finished second four times, three times in a row now. Um, so it'll be nice not to finish second again. Um, I was beaten by Peter Burling last year, so I was the first Australian, but this time it'd be nice to be actual first overall. Um, 